G'day and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 16th of January. We are here to capture three Foundry officers while harming no one else. We're glitch sick, we're ex offworld. Not that that's going to matter since we're dealing with Foundry and it's also pacifist, a conk hammer, self charging long range buffer, and a sidewinder. I think we're going to need to try swapping in. Even with this, there's been a pretty major change though, because they will raise the alarm before they pick you up, you actually can get an opportunity to, for example, sidewind away or do something like that. And I mean, I guess I kind of need more practice with the whole uh, swapping in from space thing and capture in the one motion. So where are we? Target. Good thing is that these are nice and visible. Target is right here. So if we come alongside, as long as we continue to be in the same direction of travel, that should work. And then they will... I may have enough time to get away. If not, well, them's the brakes. Let's see how we do. Okay, so I need to get over here. I need to be coming alongside the ship and then swap. Caught him. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. Hoo. I should be holding down slimmo. Can I pull that off twice? In the meantime. Can I duck? Maybe I duck on the way back and then I can also go backward. Stop. Oh, you're already turning. Even better. Even better. Stop. Let the lights cool down. Keep going. Remote. Stop. Let the lights cool down. Just not getting it, am I? Nah, not enough time to do that either. Okay, I am gonna go back though. I do think in a daily like today's we really need that gear. There we go. Gun and long beam. And return to Pud. Okay. So there we go. 21 seconds. I'm sure others have done better. That is not, not my, not my thing, really. Uh, throw you in. What do we got? Okay, next. Target flees, all of this. Still minimize harm. Okay. So. We paid the penalty. You are here, which means we do need to go like right up next to it. But I still think we can get away with it. And then, if we are in a pod, I would be very surprised if we weren't. In fact, we're going to dock and then go over. Because this is too far from the edge. Uh, then I can evaluate. Yeah. At least I can crash, which means I can do stuff with that. Uh, I don't... Ah, yes. That would have been a bad thing to leave behind because if I do go after the ship I kind of want to have my stuff with me good good okay the other thing is that target fleas may mean that the best plan is to duck and do this like a sane person there we go that was perfect did you see that okay so our telly is right there no no, 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 never, never in a million years was that going to work. Uh, this could be problematic, but I mean, I probably am in no worse shape than I would be otherwise. The ideal situation is for me to pop over here and escape. Uh, the second most ideal situation is for me to not be in range of that. Okay, so uh, it will be actually for the target to go on patrol that way while I get into position. Okay, so we want to return to pod and then we want to go over here. 
Um, where am I? There. Okay. I think that should work. If I hadn't gone out of range. Um, I didn't... I don't have the gun on me. So that's not going to work. Okay. So, yeah. I've now wasted 10 seconds, or 6 seconds actually. Got it, got it, okay, okay. So then... Okay, okay. I can do this. I could steal... I could do that too. Do I want to steal a key? Okay, now I could run for the window, chucking things at these two. Chuck at you, chuck at you, or I could just sidewind um, and and leave it at that. That's the real question. I mean, it's taken us 14 seconds. That would take us 16 seconds, and then I'd also probably ideally want to get the ship into position so I can get the item. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. It lets us delay the decision a little bit. Remote this backwards. That way. Because we know that the docking can take place automatically. Um, give me this back. Still too far away. That's okay. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get ourselves just that little bit of extra time and distance. Why are you stopped? I missed. Okay. Okay. I yes. Okay. That's a fantastic noise maker. I got all the way here without causing myself any further grief. Um. You know what? Let's do this. Stop. Take this back as well. So, let's do this. Stop. Throw. And there we go. So that is 22 seconds. That was marginally faster than the first time. <laughs> Even, well, not faster, slower than the first time. Even though that was way more complicated and required two goes at it. So I'm real pleased with that, actually. I, I mean, I really doubt that I'm going to get the times that uh, certain other people would be getting, but that's okay. Okay, so now we have a fixed time frame to get this one done in. Um, we could swap in from here if we get into position, but we're probably, no, it's going to be much simpler to go here and we can try and work our way through. We can try and pick on vulnerable targets. Uh, we can remember that we can crash people beforehand, but also the other thing is that frankly, timed alarms kind of are irrelevant. Or, I mean, until they're super relevant. But they are kind of irrelevant. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. That was some difficult work jammer, eh? Mm. Okay, so what we want is we want people to move. Um, we really want to be able to get into one of these, but we can't. We can use grenade launchers. So one advantage we actually do have here is that all of these guys are shielded. So if I run down here, 
I can swap with this guy. And then, do any of you have shotguns? No. I can just dodge bullets. Uh, this is definitely a sensible and not at all overly aggressive plan. Okay. Let's see how we do with this stupid plan. Do you like keycard? So the thing is I can't stagger any of these people. That's the terrifying thing here. The good news is that because, because none of them are useful, uh, not useful, that's a really weird way of putting things, Ran. Um, None of them have the traits we're worried about. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I want to do this. Guess we forgot that there's a tracker in this map. It was me. I forgot that information. Um. Right, yes. Okay, fine. For some reason, it really wants to track the grenade. Okay. So let's see. I could try and duck into there and steal the key, but that seems like a bad idea. What I really wanted to do is get certain people to open the door. Yeah, okay. So then I can swap with you. Uh, although... No, I can crash him. I can crash him and I've got an impact concussive grenade launcher. I could also, if I can get to there, I can swap with him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But that guy is a real problem for this. Uh, I got this long range crash beam. It's not long enough range. Um, okay, so you are going to open that door for me. Um, yeah, okay. Hmm. So. What I think I need to do is I think I need to just lure you this way. Which means I do want to use this... Guess who didn't measure that? That's okay. I can use the hammer. Okay, so we go here. The reasoning for that is so I can do this, and, uh, no, 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 no. Deactivate that. Hey mate, I want you to come in here for me. Thank you. Fantastic, that's exactly what I wanted. A visitor too, nice, nice. Okay, how long is long range? Probably not quite long enough. Okay, I need to, if I crash you, I could then throw something to stagger you, actually. Yes. So give me this, by the way. Crash you. Stagger you. I would rather... No. Yeah, good. Chuck that too, for good measure. Take this back. Pick you up. Chuck you. In direction of travel. I'm so glad that that didn't result in any inadvertent murders. 
run this way, run this way, run this way, run this way. Um, okay, so the question becomes, is it better to carry him all the way and not be able to manipulate the pod, or dump him here, put him down? No, you are alerted. Okay, at the very least, I need to get around this corner. Okay, then I think it may in fact be worth it to run down and swap. Or, no, no, visit, swap. Yes, yes, yes. Um, visit here. And then... Why did I do it this way? I think I've got something wrong. Okay, so that put you in the right spot. Right, and since we were injured when the next thing was going off, that was fine. And that gives me time to position you for a sweet pickup. And then last step, you shoot out the window. And there we go. That took 31 seconds. I'm really pleased with that. I guess it'll, we'll see how it stacks up against other people's planning. Um, yeah, that was definitely a don't fear the glitch sick uh, compared to everything else. Um, and to be fair, I did see that Dari, I did see Dari Quill's video go up with a title that was something about embracing glitch sick. Uh, but yeah, this the difference between this pre and post. Wow. Okay, that's a huge difference. Uh, so to be fair, I took multiple attempts at doing certain pickups, but still, they like I do not think those added up to an extra twenty seconds. So he must have found an even better way of getting through that um, or a more efficient use of uh, swaps and things. I think, in fact, my guess is he went out the south window because that would, in fact, get you that kind of uh, difference. Um, and I could have tried something like that. My real problem was that tracker. If the if I could have manipulated the tracker to be in a different location, uh, or made sure that I did not pick up the tracker when I picked up everything else, I could definitely have done something like that. But I guess I'll get a chance to see. But yeah, Dari Quill just continuing his domination of the leaderboards. The only time I've seen him really drop is when he has decided to just do something dumb. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with that, regardless. Um, obviously, I do need more practice with swapping him from space in such a way that I pick it up, uh, pick up the target. But on the other hand, I managed that both times. It was just the setup that I, I wasn't so good at. And uh, I just need to make sure that, that I fix that up. And I will see you next time.